And in this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of what, what is, is fantasy? fantasy. Hello, my name is Daniel Kajuri. Come with. What is fantasy? Daniel Kajuri. Tillman has found Holix. Keith Holix. Danger here. It's Ruud Holix. It's a great goal. Don't let the fact that 88 Midroot Hullet goes for 3 million coins distract you from the fact that this 89 rated fantasy foot Daniel Caligari, who is eligible to play for both the German and the Italian national team, is going for 50k. What position can you play him at? Yes. Bull something boys and welcome to another day of fantasy foot where we get ourselves an 89 Daniel fantasy Caligari. foot Daniel Caligari who is the 13th most total in game stacks among any midfielder in the game. Plays for a relegation side Augsburg. I swear to god when I saw Cal Caligari I immediately thought that maybe we were getting another Serie A SPC but for the Bundesliga and Serie A Yam boys we are absolutely feasting. We get ourselves a spicy Sandro Tonali yesterday and EA are back at it again with a very solid value SPC coming in around 50,000 coins. A 4 star 4 star Daniel Daniel Caligari. Now, you'll remember him from years past. I believe he had a pretty crack team of the season card. Uh, and uh, today, like I said, he gets a 50k card. And we're going to take a look at his shots of getting an upgrade, uh, his chances of getting an upgrade. And we're just going to see what this card might look like. Again, compares very favorably to some of the top end midfielders in all of FIFA. So if you run a Bundesliga squad, if you run an Italian squad, and you're finding a way to get him in your squad, whether, whether you're running 3-5-2, or if he's just going to be maybe your CDM, or just your box to box, smash box to box. Smash like on Epi for a very cheap, underrated. This might not be the smexiest let me just put this out there this might not be the smexiest spc but this is the kind of spc that you just kind of don't want to fly under the radar he is for all intents and purposes you know super super cheap Fifty thousand coins for the car for the stats that you get i know it's the combination of italian and bundesliga right there's not many good augsburg players in the game as a matter of fact i think there's only a milestone and then a couple informs that no one's ever going to use so he's a little bit difficult to link but if you got yourself a gattuso if you got yourself maybe uh an italian icon he is very easily linkable uh zambrotta for example gets him the green link and uh is a card in my opinion that's worth checking out so that's exactly what we're going to do today so like i said smash like for the vafunculo yam boys smash like if you think it's a dub for 50k if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button down below so uh according to groove baby who is a bundesliga fanatic uh, he says that he he registers 1.5 shots and one chance created per 90 he also has three goals and two assists this season he's a starter playing for a relegation playoff contending side next five fixtures are decent aside from Bayern. they play the 12th 9th 16th and 11th place sides uh so it's a good chance for a plus two also worth noting that the match versus berlin who are in 16th is at home so uh basically what needs to happen he needs to be in the starting 11 or brought on as a sub during a win uh in their next five matches starting april 1st and then he just needs to be playing in three out of five so that's pretty much that's pretty much plus two uh guaranteed right there so if he goes up to a 91 he might not be the 13th most total in game stat midfielder in the game he might very well go up to maybe a, he might break into the top 10 so a very very, very solid SBC uh, and a very, very solid looking card. Let's see what you get with the stats. Uh, now, whether or not he gets a goal and an assist, who knows? Maybe crazier things have happened, right? He already has, he's got three goals and two assists, you know, which is, uh, you know, he's one of the leaders in terms of assists and goals. I think there's only one guy that has like four or five goals. So he is important. Uh, he is an important piece of the puzzle for uh, getting uh, getting getting points for uh, for Augsburg. So uh, 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed is what he goes to. Shooting stats. I don't think we're going to jack those off too much. Passing stats are very very nice. 84 long passing isn't incredible, but I love the crossing. I love the vision. I love the curve, and I love the short passing. Dribbling stats. The balance is one thing we're going to pay attention to. Is there anything there that's going to get in our way? 91 reactions with 89 ball control, 89 dribbling, 88 composure, and then the defending stats. 94 interceptions, defensive wear is an end game. It's at 88 with the Shadow Chem style, but he has 95 standing tackle, 94 stamina, 86 strength, and 82 aggression uh, with solid player traits. So, you know, some stats that aren't crazy, but um, no stat below uh, one stat in 74, and then all the other stats, there's nothing below 80, and then outside of that, there's pretty much nothing below 83. So, in a couple key categories, absolutely cracked stats uh, and very, very good stats, and then we're looking at the 80 balance. We're looking at the 82 aggression that's, like, not too crazy. So, I don't know. May maybe Shadow's not even the play on this card. Maybe we run something else, but and I feel like the narrow formations got nerfed. The chat was telling me that the narrow formations got nerfed, so we're gonna test out the 4-4-2. We've got two of the best midfielders in the game right now in the form of Caligari and Tonali. So if we can't hold the midfield, uh, we don't have a prayers chance. Uh, but we've got Pele, we've got Harry Kane, we've got Christian Eriksen, uh, and uh, we are gonna test out this squad. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what Eriksen looks like in game, uh, and then also testing out this Caligari for, like I said, 50k. Match number one, Vafankul. And again, the, the nice thing about the Caligari card is you can literally play him anywhere. He's got the average body type.
Nah, I'm not having that. I'm in cheat. That's all you He's got the average body type. I mean, the, the man the man moves. Daniel Caligiuri. Who is that? Is, that, is, is Caligiuri playing right mid? Yeah, he flies. Bro, Caligiuri flies, man. Do not even. No, 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 no. Daniel Caligiuri. Daniel Caliguri, dude! 50,000 coins for Caliguri, dude! Vafankul! Caliguri. And Kuman has found Hullet. Pete Hullet, danger here! It's Rune Hullet! It's a great goal! Oh. It's magnificently I'm just gonna be honest with you, man. There's certain SPCs that are just called no brainers. I even went as far as saying that 220,000 coins Sandro Tonali was a must-complete SPC. I think I have to reevaluate how I look at what I consider a must-complete must SPC. 50,000 coins, bro. The acceleration is nuts. Pull it and just <laughs> We gotta do a, we gotta do a Daniel Cal Caligiuri uh, dead fish. He's like a, he's a, There was a card that came out a few days ago that just didn't have like a crazy name and he looked nuts. How am I drawing a blank on this? Or Yarthabal. He's the, uh, he's the Italian or Yarthabal. It's a player that plays for a club that's not, you know what I mean? Great, like obviously massive, you know, uh, historic club, uh, but it's not Real Madrid or Barcelona. So if it's not R Real Madrid, Barcelona or Atletico Madrid in an SBC, people are like, okay, well, it doesn't link into my, my Llorente, it doesn't link into my flashback, you know, Benzema, whoever's using him at this stage. Um, but, uh, I feel like that's, I feel like sometimes that, that's how people, um, that's how people judge an SBC. And Koeman has found Hullet. He, even though he's got the four-star skill moves. Bro, he just doesn't. He just, his, I, the, 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 the X factor on this Caliguri card is his ability to whip around the field. Look, look at that. Look it. And Kuman has found Hullet. Huh? Keith yep. Hullet, danger here. It's Rune Hullet. It's, it's a great goal. Magnificently taken. Okay, well, um, you know, if, if, if there was no reason, if there was a reason not to do this SPC, I really would like, I really would like to know what it would be. You know, if you're trying to get the mid or prime icon SPC done, we ripped a few shots from distance, right? Ten total attempts, try to take a couple other finesses and some other distance bangers. Uh, you can play him as an RM, you can play him as a CDM. I mean, like, I would even go so far as to say you could possibly even play him as a cam, right? He doesn't have any of those traits that we're looking for, but that didn't seem to... That's it. That didn't seem to uh, prevent him from being able to live his best life and just absolutely cut past everyone. Slicing up the grass as he's running down the pitch, and then a ridiculous, ridiculous top-down... Erickson, like, oh, no, Ederson. <laughs> it's, it, dude, it's the acceleration. Acceler acceleration sprint speed, and then he just curls... He can curl from distance. This might be one of the most useful cards that's been put out this year. And again, I say, you know, it's one thing if he was like 150, if he was like 150, 125k, he's 50,000 coins. Caligari, dude. And he can finish inside the box. Guys, just get the card. If you run a Bundesliga or Serie A squad, damn it, just get the card to have it. First owner, right? If you need an Italian player for an SP, if you need an Italian player for an objective, if you need a Bundesliga first owner, just get the card, man. Caligari, and again, I, I, I feel like I'm just repeating myself. He's, he's so fluid in the midfield, you can literally just use left analog stick dribbling to get around, guys. Here's Pele. But we don't want to score goals with Pele. We want to score goals with Christian Eriksen. Because you want to know why? Force Eriksen. You know how some guys, it like the the, chemi the chemistry style says that it has 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. And somehow they still feel a little bit tanky. Um, I can confirm Caligari does not feel that way. He's super, he, he's rapid. Ready? We're just going to whip around him. That's left analog. A little bit of four star skin moves there. And then take a distance banger from out there. There's Caligari again with a nice little interception. It's 
Sometimes you just gotta sweat it out, boys. Come on, we're winning this game, man. Donali, lovely pass. Back to Caligiuri. Caligiuri, come on, bro! Caligiuri, boys! Christian Eriksen to the Caligiuri! Inside the box! What can this man not do? The guy is nuts. He gets himself two goals. Uh, didn't provide an assist, but here... Um, Christian Eriksen coming in with an emotional, emotional little assist there to uh, to end the game. His heat map is all over the place. You absolutely love to see that. So he gets he gets six goals in two games. Again, showcasing, uh, you know, he's able to tackle. That's the main thing, right? That's one of the main things that you want to make sure that you have on this card. Might be the best, you know, I don't know, one of the best box-to-box -box cards in the game for 50,000 coins. And again, he's going to be a little bit cheaper because he ships as a right mid. If he was a center mid, maybe we're looking at a 7,500,000 coin price tag. But again, 50,000 coins, it's one SPC slot. You could just throw your fodder into it. At the very least, um, Ter Stegen goes for 50,000 coins. 90 rated cards go for uh, go for 50,000 coins. At the very least, I mean, I hate to say it, but you have yourself some fodder here that you can uh, that you can craft for pretty cheap if you need it. But um, I'm going to go so far as to say, boys, in terms of value, man, I don't know if we've had a SBC. Maybe you guys help me out in the comments, but I don't think we've had a better value SBC this year in terms of what you get for being a box-to-box -box, and in terms of the fact that he's got the 13th, mo the 13th most total in-game stats among any midfielder in all of FIFA. So I'm going to say 5 out of 5 in terms of value. In terms of on-the-pitch performance, I'm going to give him a 4 out of 5. He flies around, um, has the average body type, is super, super wiggly, doesn't feel stocky, doesn't feel big or tanky at all, uh, is able to defend well, didn't feel the balance creep in, didn't feel that 80 balance creep creep in and be a, be a negative, but won most of the balls that we were trying to get back. And then more importantly, though, managed to bang in finesse goals and managed to bang in a couple goals from inside the box, utilizing that 88 shot power, 86 long shots, uh, and then the 85 finishing. So, and just a really fun guy that you could use. Augsburg, I got, again, I don't know how likely it is for the total, uh, for the plus three. I don't know how likely it is that he's going to end up being a 92, but I could certainly envision a scenario where he's minimum a 90 or even a 91, given uh, what they have to do. Again, um, place for Augsburg relegation side. So these guys are going to be fighting. Um, these guys are going to be fighting with absolutely everything they have uh, to stay in the Bundesliga. So I'm expecting um, I'm expecting at least one win out of the five, uh, and then I'm expecting him to be uh, in the starting eleven or uh, a sub in three out of those five games. So minimum, I see him going up to, uh, like I said, a 90. But that's going to do it for the episode, you boys. If you guys did enjoy, smash like. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, night off streaming tonight. Going to take the night off. Going to go to dinner as Uh And then we are back tomorrow with 20 games of Weekend League. Surprise. Uh, but uh, like I said, boys, that's going to do it for the epi. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.